I, I text two managers uh, this morning when I knew you was coming on. Um, I text the last manager you played for in the Premier League, which was Chris Wilder. I've told you what he said. And I asked for just, I asked for five words from Fergie to Alex Ferguson. And mm -hmm. he texted me a bit back this. Rio, my first and last impression in Ravel as a young lad was he has always got time and space, always available to be on the ball. So unusual for a young lad of his age. Give my regards to him, please. Another thing about Ravel, which I've always treasured because no other young player who made their debut did it. After the first game in the first team that he played, the next morning he came to my office and gave me a letter thanking me for giving him his debut. I was gobsmacked, Rio. The boy had a good heart. He was just beaten by his background. Yeah, man. I almost started crying, bro. Yeah, when I made my debut, that was... I don't know, I just, words can't describe that, you know. Hmm. Mickey Davey from United, but... First talk to him. as well. Pardon? His first touch was a back heel. I know. <laughs> what was what does hearing that from someone like Sir Alex make you feel like? Yeah, it was... It, it touches you, do you know what I mean? Because if I, if I could go back in time, I would change 90% of my life. If Sam didn't offer me that contract in the first place, I probably would still be at West Ham now, you know. Because I wouldn't have left unless he, he didn't want me to play again. If you if I would have stayed on my same contract, I wouldn't have got nothing else. I would have carried on playing and been happy, you know. I would I would have played anyway, but it was a uh, they, they pulled it away in January. And then Sam turned around and said we don't need you to play no more, do you know what I mean? You can go elsewhere. And then he sent me on loan to QPR. Hmm. Wow. Wow, man. And then I got I got back from I got back from QPR and um, I thought, oh, just been promoted to QPR, done well. I must get another chance at West Ham now. Uh, come back and then five, four days into pre-season, Sam pulled me and said, "We've agreed for you to go to Cardiff," and I was like, "And I was like, well, I don't want to go." Mm. And he said, "Well, you're not going to get a chance here. Uh, you're not needed at a club." So I tried. I tried to phone Harry, and because uh, they went to the Premier League, and I said, "Is it? Can I not come back?" And he said that he tried to get me back, but the club's not allowing it at West Ham. So then I had to go to Cardiff. And that was, that was in, I like the club, great players, good staff, but it just didn't work out for me. Hmm. I think mentally I was a bit upset, you know, I didn't, I didn't want to go anywhere else. What are you thinking in your head during this time? Like, um, like I, I hold my hands up, you know, when I was young, I've made many mistakes. But I do believe my time at West Ham like that wasn't down to me you know I wouldn't have left I would never have left that club but stuff happens in it in football like people everyone, everyone doesn't see like what goes behind the scenes football can get you down football can make you depressed 